For tonight's matchup between the Wildcats of Central Washington and your Seattle Pacific University Falcons. A special welcome to Emerson and Arnett residents here for Emerson Arnett Athletics Night. Well, fans, our national anthem was already performed prior to our first game earlier tonight. So now let's meet tonight's starting lineup. First for Central Washington, the visiting team on the scoreboard. The Wildcats are coached by Greg Sparling. His assistants are Drew Harris, Jared Johnson, and Joey Ropo. Let's meet the Central starters. At forward number five, a six-four senior from Kent, Jawan Stepney. Also at forward number 25, a six-seven senior from Los Angeles, California, Jerome Plant. At center number 42, a 6'11 senior from Seattle, Fuquan Niles. At guard number zero, a 6'1 freshman from Seattle, Khalil Chavez. Also at guard number four, a 6'2 junior from Federal Way, Malik Montoya. Now fans, let's meet tonight's starting lineups for your Seattle Pacific Falcons! The Falcons are coached by Grant Leap, assisted by Keegan Bone, Matt Fortin, and George Parker. Let's meet the Falcon starters. At forward number two, a 6'5 junior from Maple Valley, Coleman Wooten. At forward number four, a 6'6 freshman from Kaiser, Oregon, Harry Cavill. At center number 30, a 6'8 junior from Richland, Nathan Schweifer. At guard number 22, a six foot sophomore from Sandy, Utah, Gabe Colosimo. And at guard number 33, a 6'5 sophomore from Wenatchee, Gavin Long. And we are ready to go here for game number two of our doubleheader. It's the SPU men taking on Central Washington. Tom Gillinelli here with you one more time. Both of these teams entering this game 15 and 10 overall on the season and 10 and 8 in the GNAC. A win for either of these schools tonight would get them into the GNAC tournament. Falcons, if they can win one of their last two games, Wildcats, if they can win one of their last two, would be in the tournament over Northwest Nazarene at 8 and 10, Fairbanks at 8 and 10. And here we go as the Falcons win the opening tip here in the first half. Falcons in the home whites. They're going to attack offensively from left to right on your screen. The Wildcats in the black. They are going to be in the, well, we've already mentioned they're in the black jerseys, and they are going to be attacking from right to left on your screen. Apologize for the brain cramp there. Wooten over to Long. Shot from mid-range, and that's good. And it's 2-0 Falcons ahead over Central Washington. For the Falcons to start it off, you have Coleman Wooten, Harry Cavill, Gabe Colosimo, Nathan Stroyford, Gavin Long in the game. For Central Washington, you have Khalil Shabazz, Malik Montoya, Jawan Stepney, Jerome Bryant, Fuquan Niles in for the Wildcats. 2-0 Falcons to start it off. They go to the corner with Stepney, who comes in, kicks out to Shabazz. Shabazz with three, shoots the three, and that's good. So the Wildcats on the board for the first time. Wildcats led by head coach Greg Sparling in his 24th year on the job. He's lost 13 of his last 17 to the Falcons, though. Three-pointer up for Cavill, no good. The rebound gets into the hands of Shabazz. Falcons led by head coach Grant Leap in his second year as the head man, ninth year overall on the Falcons staff. 3-2 the score to start it off. Wildcats up one. Stepney, top of the circle to Shabazz, and that three-point attempt's wide right, and Wooten comes away with the rebound. Wooten into the front court. 
He's going to go to Colosimo. He directs traffic and gives it to Wooten. Back to Colosimo to Cavill inside. Leaping catch for Long, but he couldn't tap it in. Niles, the reigning GNAC player of the week, gets the rebound. Shabazz gets it. Wildcats come into this game having lost two out of three after winning their prior six. Before that, Falcons have been very hot and cold. They've won every other game that they've played since January the 18th. So they can't get any kind of consistency together. But if they win, they get into the GNAC tournament. Here's Colosimo for three. No good after the Falcons got the loose ball. As it was Stroyford who got the rebound for the Falcons last time around. And the scoop and no score there for Stepney on the Wildcat end of things. After Montoya got the defensive rebound for them earlier. Teardrop shot no good here for Montoya. And the loose ball gets into the hands of Long. And now it's Cavill. Tries to go for the right hand slam, but Niles bumped him from behind. And off to the line goes Cavill for two shots. First foul of the game goes on Niles. And now it's shooting foul time as Cavill heads to the charity stripe for the Falcons. Cavill on the year for SPU is a 73.1% free throw shooter. And Cavill's able to make the first free throw here. To tie it up at three. Falcons in their first meeting of the year, of course, against Central Washington. Back on December the 2nd, they were able to win in overtime, 84 to 83. Hoping to get it done once again tonight against the Wildcats as that second free throw by Cavill goes up and in. A slip on the floor and then Wooten just takes the ball right out of Montoya's hands. Colosimo in transition to Long. He gets the basket and the fouls. He's pushed from behind by Niles. And that's already two fouls on Niles. And that could be a bit of a loss there for the Wildcats as they have to take out their reigning GNAC player of the week. And now Malcolm Cola checks in for the Wildcats. Cola, six, six freshman from Federal Way. And now off to the charity stripe goes Long. Free throw up and no good. And the rebound going to Stepney and back the other way we go. So a tough break there for the Wildcats early on as they lose Niles to early foul trouble. Chance here maybe for the Falcons to take advantage, particularly in the lower post. Take away some higher percentage shots on the Wildcat ends, create some high percentage shots on their end. Awkward shot by Stepney from deep, and it's no good, and the Falcons get the loose ball. Outlet pass, Wooten to Stroyford, and Cavill can't finish it with a layup, and now it's a tie-up between Long and Montoya, but the arrow is going to favor the Wildcats this time around. So a fresh 30 seconds on the clock for the Wildcats with 16-13 left to play in half number one. Referees in this game, Aaron Starkovich, Jeff Flowers, Jerry Manis. Those are your three officials as Shabazz weaves to the right, lays it up and in with a right hand. So Khalil Shabazz, one of three players on the Central Washington team from Rainier Beach High School, makes it six to five. And long inside, can't get the layup and he can't get the follow-up as Montoya swats it away. Wooten with the ball now for the Falcons to Long, gets by the defender, and there's the slam! As he is able to shrug off Cola inside, and it's eight to five. Now it's Shabazz with it. And now it's over to Bryant, right side. Shabazz to Montoya, to Cola. Cola posting up. Kicks out, Bryant comes in, and they try to kick it out, no over and back. Three seconds to shoot though for Shabazz, throws it up left hand, no good, rims out, rebound tip, gets back into the hands of Bryant, but he can't make his follow up, and Stroyford's there for the rebound, Colosimo. Outlet pass is tipped and picked off by Shabazz. He was trying to go for Cavill in the front court, but he couldn't hit him. Nice play by Shabazz, 
to break up that pass. And now the Wildcats will slow it down in the half court. Good turnout here for this in-state rivalry, it looks like. And the shot for three, up and good for Montoya, and that ties the game at eight as he hits it from nearly the top of the circle. Montoya on the scoreboard for the first time in this game with that field goal. Stroyfer with the ball now, top of the circle, goes inside, Long has it, Long. Struggling against defenders to Stroyford, back to Long. Ball is squirted back to Stroyford. Inside it goes, and Cavill lays it in with the left hand. So the Wildcats were as physical and tough and stingy as they could possibly be in that defensive possession, but the Falcons were able to still get the points, and it's 10 to 8. Shabazz with it. Hands it off to Bryant, and then he gives it over to Shabazz. 10 to shoot. Seven seconds, six seconds, five. Now Bryant for three. No good, short. And Colosimo gets the rebound after getting bumped a little bit. Goes to Wooten after Colosimo got double teamed and Wooten is fouled. No basket there. No shot attempt as Bryant pushed him a little bit. And now we get a foul. Called and it's gonna be on Bryant and that's his first personal. Third on the Wildcats. And we get a timeout on the floor with less than 16 minutes to play in half number one. 10 to eight, Falcons ahead by two, and we'll be right back. Well, 13.40 left in half number one as we get set to continue on with the action. A lot of substitutions to talk about on both sides. For the Wildcats, you have Karsten Chaplick, Naeem Ladd, and Sage Woodruff in for Montoya, Stepney, and Bryant. For the Falcons, you have Trey Miller, Hunter Eisenhower, and Akil Lazat in for Gabe Colosimo, Nathan Stroy for Gavin Long. Whistle here and a foul. It's on the Falcons. It's on Cavill, and that's his first. After Hunter Eisenhower missed a three on the Falcons' end of things. And the Wildcats pick up the action on offense. Shabazz to Woodruff. Over to Ladd. Shot for three is going to rim out for Woodruff. And the ball went out of bounds as it bounced kind of over the top of the backboard. Falcons have the ball now. Here's Lazat. Lazat with the ball for three, and it's good, nothing but net. Nikhil Lazat just instantly comes in the game and hits Pater there. So the Falcons hit one from deep and go up by five, 13 to eight. And now inside, the Wildcats respond there. Naeem Ladd puts it in for his first points of the game, 13-10. Lazat bounces to Wooten, layup good with the right hand. Nice give and go there for the Falcons, 15-10. Shabazz. Bryant posting up, or this is Cola, excuse me, 20 not 25. Cola gets fouled. Now going on Cavill, his second, team's second. Now Gavin Long will check in for Cavill. 
Kevin Lyle for the Wildcats. You have Cameron Williams checking in for Shabazz. Williams in for the first time. And now the bouncer here went toward Cola and we're gonna get a foul called on the Falcons. Number three on them in this half, number one on Trey Miller. And the inbounds here to Cola. Out to Williams, hands it off. Ladd, clock winding. 10 seconds to shoot. Naeem Ladd for a three near the top of the circle, no good. Rebound tip to Lazat. And back the other way we go now. Lazat finds Long. Long hands off to Lazat. Lazat with 20. Screen set by Wooten. Lazat, another chance for three, got hit, no foul. Long rebound goes to Trey Miller, who then underhands to Lazat. 15-10, Falcons by five, looking to add on to their lead here in the first half. About halfway through the first half, 11.27 to play until halftime. Wooten drives left, tries to scoop and score with the left hand, can't do it, ball out of bounds off long. And that will lead to an under 12 minute timeout with 11.22 left on the first and half clock. Score right now, Falcons 15, Central Washington 10, and we'll be right back. One of the best ways to keep up with Falcon athletics is to connect with us on social media. Be sure to like Seattle Pacific Falcon. Eleven twenty-two left in the first half. Score right now is the SBU Falcons 15 and the Central Washington Wildcats 10. Nathan Stroyfer checks back in for the Falcons. He comes in for Trey Miller and that's the only substitution to account for at this very moment. Inside they work it over to Karsten Chaplick, 6'2 sophomore from Camino Island. And it's 15 to 12. Long in the corner. Over to Eisenhower to Long. Long coming in now to Eisenhower. Eisenhower heads to the left, shoots, no good. Oh, trying to put it back with a right hand slam was Stroyfer. That would have been something if he had done it. But he couldn't pull it off. And after getting the loose ball, Ladd hustles all the way down the floor and scores on the layup to make it a one point game. Lazat floats it up. Good as he banks it home from just in front of the free throw line and 17-14. Falcons by three. Ladd with the ball here. 10-16 left until halftime. Woodruff, Woodruff heads to his left, goes up, can't make it, it's short. Rebound going to Wooten, Wooten hustling into the front court. He goes to Eisenhower, open chance for three, he hit it! The Alaskan from Wasilla. You betcha, 20 to 14. And it's the Falcons by six now. Right corner, now over to Lat. Shot from the top of the circle, no. Rebound tipped into the hands of Lazat, but he got hit by Ladd there. And that's where the foul will come in. That's Ladd's first, team's fourth. And now Colosimo checks in for the Falcons. He checks in for Eisenhower, also for the Wildcats who have Bryant coming back in for Cola. 
And now here is Colosimo. Long. Wooten near the top of the circle. Going to Colosimo, he fakes. Bounces to Stroyford to Wooten, top of the circle. Now comes in left a couple steps, lost the ball, and it's scooped up by Chaplick. Chaplick's going to go all the way, can't get the finger roll, and the ball's tipped back into the hands of Wooten. Williams couldn't get the put back for the Wildcats. Whistle here, and Wooten gets the bucket and the foul. So Coleman Wooten scores for the Falcons. And that makes it 22 to 14. Foul that time going on Jerome Bryant, and that's his second. It's the team's fifth. And off to the line here goes Mr. Wooten, and he makes the free throw. It's at a rim home. Falcons by nine, their biggest lead yet so far. Stepney and Shabazz are back in for the Wildcats, in for Chaplick and Lack. And now Shabazz with it. Heads to his left, hands it off. Stepney. Over to Shabazz. Heads to his right around Lazat. Shot from the free throw line, no. Rebound here goes to nobody. Colosmo would have had it if the whistle hadn't blown. And the foul here will go on long, and that's his first. And a loose ball foul is the team's fourth foul of the half. And now it's Montoya who checks in for the Wildcats. He comes in for Bryant. And the inbounds here going to Woodruff. Woodruff will hand it off. Spinning around, Stepney goes up, and he gets it to rattle home. Nice work there by Stepney. The senior from Kent and Kent Ridge High School, home of the Chargers. 23 to 16, heading in is Colosimo. Bounces inside, a little bit of a no look to Long, and that one swatted away. Montoya and Stepney were in on the defense. Woodruff picked up the loose ball. Shabazz with it over to Woodruff. Now to Montoya. They pass it left to Stepney and now driving left after bumping with the defender as Woodruff throws up a wild shot, misses. We'll see if they count that as a shooting foul or not. Foul is on Wooten, that's his first, team's fifth. Falcons have five fouls in this half. The Wildcats have five. And it is a shooting foul, and Woodruff will go to the line, and he will shoot two for Central. First shot coming up here is going to be up and good. That makes it 23-17. Trey Miller checks in one more time. He comes in for Coleman Wooten this time around. Second shot coming. Woodruff just a 61% free throw shooter this year, and right on cue he misses the second free throw as Stroyford gets the rebound after that in and out. And Colosimo to Stroyford to Lazat. Comes in, top of the key, now top of the circles, he backpedals. Now it's Trey Miller to Colosimo, back to Trey. And he didn't know what to do with the ball, and Cameron Williams stole it away. And going up and missing in transition is Shabazz. Rebound going to Stroyford. And that outlet pass by Colosimo is broken up by Montoya. Wildcats scoop it and steal it. It was Stepney who gets credit for the steal. And in transition, we get a foul on Colosimo as he tries to break up the transition pass. And that's going to be his first team sixth of the half. Time on the floor with less than eight minutes to play in half number one. Score is 23 to 17. Falcons by six, and we'll be right back.
about ready to continue on here. Seven minutes, 28 left until halftime between the SPU Falcons and the Central Washington Wildcats. Tom Janella here with you. Second to last night of basketball here for the year at Royal Brome Pavilion. Doubleheader on Saturday is all that's left after tonight. Falcon women play senior night on Saturday. Falcon men play senior night on Saturday. As Coleman Wooten checks in for Nikhil Lazad on the Falcon side. A little more size inside for Grant Leap to work with. Stepney with it now with eight to shoot. 7.05 and counting left till halftime. Wildcats down by six, 23-17. Wild shot no good. Colosimo saves it for the Falcons along the baseline. And Colosimo directs traffic for the time being. Colosimo heads to his left a little bit. Gives it to Long. Heads right around the screen set by Stroyford. Oh my, what a swat! But maybe a little bit too physical there by Williams. Long went down hard. And no foul, the ball just goes out of bounds. Falcons still have it, 13 to shoot once they put it in play. Here's Miller, takes the shot immediately, no good. And tapping for Stroyford, no good. Ball may have been kicked. And they'll award the ball to the Wildcats. No foul called on either side. It's just a ball that got kicked off SPU, I think. Woodruff inbounds to Shabazz. Fresh 30 seconds for the Wildcats. Montoya, got it back, or no, it's Woodruff who gets it from Williams, shot for three, no good, it's short, rebound to Trey Miller. And now here's Colosimo. Colosimo, front court, directing traffic, he'll go right while everyone else goes left. Now he gives it to Stroyford and now it's Wooten. Wooten to Miller to Colosimo to Wooten for three, it's short, rebound was going to go into the hands of Shabazz, but now we're going to have a foul, and it's going to go on the Falcons. It's on Trey Miller, his second. Is it a loose ball foul or a defensive foul? Either way, it sends the Wildcats to the free throw line in the bonus situation as Eisenhower checks in for Miller, and Cameron Williams will go to the line here. Following the Eisenhower from Miller substitution. One and one chance, Williams misses from the line and Stroyford gets the rebound for the Falcons. Colosimo with it. Colosimo heading to his left. Wooten, long. Colosimo bounces, Stroyford posts up, right hand, no, but everything stopped and there's a foul. Gonna be on the Wildcats. Wildcat and it's gonna go on Sage Woodruff, and that's his first, team six. Hawkins with seven fouls in this half, Wildcats with six. And off to the line here is Stroyford. First shot on the way is up and good. Falcons up by a touchdown and an extra point kick. 24-17. Stroyford on the scoreboard for the first time in this game with that free throw, and now he's got two points. Falcons up by eight, 25 to 17. Falcons now five of six from the charity stripe in this contest. They're shooting cold from the field though, nine of 23 for 31 or 39.1%. Wildcats seven of 25, 28%. And here come the Falcons in transition. Colosimo lost control of it. Shabazz tries to save it for the Wildcats. Couldn't do it. Ball goes out of bounds and they'll reset the shot clock for the Falcons. Colosimo got the steal for SPU to start that sequence. Now they get a fresh 30 seconds. As long, touch pass inside to Wooten. Ball poked out by Montoya and then picked up by Stepney. Back the other way, Stepney in transition. Shabazz steps back, can't make it from the corner for three. Rebound going to Wooten, outlet pass. Here's Long and he goes for the layup and he scores with the right hand off the glass. Falcons by 10, Wildcats now trying to steep, speed it up. Stepney from mid-range, no good. Bodies flying around, the ball's flying around. 
And now we're going to get a foul called and they're gonna walk back the other way. It goes on Cameron Williams and that's his first. Wildcats seventh. And they'll say it's a loose ball foul and a one and one type of situation here. Coleman Wooten will go to the line. He gets one and one. Coleman Wooten with one shot here. Gets it to rim home, so he gets another. Coleman Wooten now with six points in this first half. Wooten, though, just a 49% free throw shooter for the year. This is the second off the back iron, but Stroyford gets the rebound. Colosimo for three, no, off the back. Rebound into the hands of Montoya. He's hustling into the front court. Wildcats down 11. Montoya coming in, tosses it up against Colosimo, and he's fouled. He gets two shots. The Falcons, for what it's worth, have done a fantastic job as far as their rebounding is concerned. As Colosimo's called for the foul, his second, team's eighth of the half. Colosimo, no points so far for the Falcons. Does have two rebounds, one steal, and that's it. First shot for Montoya up and good to make it 28-18. Lazat checks in now for the Falcons. He comes in for Colosimo. Wouldn't be shocked if Colosimo sat out the rest of the half. But the Falcons are doing a great job with their rebounding so far, up 22 to 12 over the Wildcats. Falcons also up to 40% now as far as their shooting's concerned, 10 to 25. Wildcats still languishing at 25.9%, 7 to 27 from the field. Falcons have definitely outplayed the Wildcats so far in this first half. Those are just a couple examples as to why. Lazat comes in, shrugs off the defender, can't make the short mid-range shot. Long had the rebound, it's poked out, and Cameron Williams gets the loose ball after Shabazz helped him out a little bit. And driving left and going in for the finger roll is Stepney, and Stepney puts it in 28-21. Less than four minutes to play until recess. Falcons up by a touchdown and an extra point. Eisenhower to Wooten to Lazat. Long now, left side. Long coming in. And he's going to go to Eisenhower, and now it's Lazat. Lazat with seven. Lost the ball, gets it back. Four seconds, three seconds, throws it up, no good off the side of the backboard. Nice job by Stroyford to immediately scoop it with his right hand, and then he immediately banked the shot in. All in one foul swoop. That was a nifty play there by, by Stroyford, to say the least. He knew exactly how much time was left on the shot clock and knew exactly what had to happen there in that millisecond. Great play. Woodruff, top of the circle for three, no good, and the rebound going to Lazat. Falcons by nine. Lazat directing traffic for the time being. Lazat hands it off to Stroyford. And it's a three-point attempt, no good for Eisenhower, but the rebound going to Stroyford. Gets away from the defender, and he's fouled on the way up by Williams. So a nice job by Stroyford to get the rebound. Also get away there from Woodruff, who walks back to the bench frustrated. Foul number eight of the half on the Wildcats going on Williams, his second. Timeout on the floor with two minutes 40 to play until the half. 30 to 21, Falcons by nine, and we'll be right back.
Well, we are getting ready to pick up the action here following the under four minute timeout. We have two minutes 40 left until halftime. Good first half so far. Good pace of play, good basketball shown here by both teams. Seeing a fair amount of good plays on both sides. Falcons playing a little better though, up by nine. Stroyford will go to the line here for SPU. And Stroyford with his four points. Makes the first of two free throws. He was always going to get two because it was a shooting foul. So he makes number one. Now he gets a second. And it's going to go in for him. And it's 32 21. Stroyford, he's got six points. Falcons by 11. Quick substitution update. Ladd and Cola in for the Wildcats. Woodruff and Williams are out. Those are the substitution on the Wildcats side. And now the short mid-range fadeaway no good. Lazat the rebound and the transition. It's Long who gets the layup. So a nice job by the Falcons to put it in gear after that Cola miss. And it's 34 to 21. Falcons by 13 as we get toward the two minute warning here in the first half. Heading to the left is Shabazz trying to get away from the defender. No good. Rebound going to Wooten. Shabazz can't poke it out of there. Coleman Wooten stumbles and he can't kick it out. And Cola gets the loose ball. So Coleman Wooten lost his footing there. And now Montoya gets it back off the kick out from Ladd. And now it's Stepney. Stepney coming in from the top of the circle. Floats it up. Good with the right hand. From mid range. And it's 34 to 23 with less than 90 seconds to play until halftime. Lazat bounces. Stroyford, Eisenhower, three, no, off the back. Rebound into the hands of Shabazz as he tries to jump step, crossover. Ball's poked out and Long gets the steal. Here comes Lazat. Lazat. Gets it to Long on a pass, on Wooten on a pass, counter in the foul. What a pass inside by Lazat on the fast break. Twists around and hands it off to Wooten. And the Falcons lead it by 13, 36 to 23. Foul here going on Ladd, his second. Team's ninth. Comes with a minute five left in the half, and now Wooten gets the free throw to rattle home. 37 to 23, Falcons by two touchdowns now. Shabazz with it. Shabazz coming in. Passes left corner to Montoya. Williams. Shot from mid-range, long hit him. And Stepney. As Talon the Falcon does, Talon the Falcon, I should say, does his best Stepney impression there. And Stepney gets hit, goes down, and the foul is called. So that's the second on long, ninth on SPU in the half. Also nine fouls on the Wildcats. First free throw is up and good for Stepney, and now a timeout. Falcons call the timeout. That's the one timeout they can't take with them to the second half. So they'll use it here with 47.9 seconds to play until recess. And the Falcons will obviously talk over things here. Try to draw up a play on the offensive side, I'm sure. Don't forget, coming up a little before the second half begins, we'll have some SPU sports news for you, and we'll also have some halftime stats. So that'll be about two, three minutes before the second half begins as the second free throw goes in and out for Stepney, and it's Wooten who gets the rebound for the Falcons. Long with it. Long coming in, lost the ball, was poked out by Williams, but I think we're going to get a foul call. Williams puts his hands over his head. It's actually going to go on Shabazz, though, and that's his first. That's a good thing for the Wildcats because Williams is two fouls as is, so it's one less player that's 
not in foul trouble, I guess, because of that call. And Long makes the first free throw of two there for the Falcons. They're in the double bonus rest of the way here in this first half. And the second free throw up and good for Long. Makes it 39-24. Trey Miller checks in now for Long. Falcons now 11 of 13 from the charity stripe in this half. And they've also led for 86.3% of this game now. 16 minutes, 48 seconds here in the first half. By comparison, the Wildcats have led for just a minute 54, 9.8%. And we get a timeout here called by the Wildcats, so that's their use it or lose it timeout. The shot clock right now is at 27. The game clock is at 33.8. So the Wildcats can't get the last shot of the half here, but they at least get a chance to draw up a play for what will be their last possession of the half more than likely. This lead right now, by the way, 15 points. It's the biggest lead of the night for the Falcons so far. Biggest lead for the Wildcats, one point. It was back when they were up three to two with 19 minutes, two seconds to play in the first half. 58 seconds into the game. Here's Shabazz. Uh, just let this clock wind on down. If down 15, you want to get some points. You don't want to wait too long here. Now you're down to 10 seconds. Now they're going to start moving. Shabazz, they kick it out. Three-pointer, good for Sage Woodruff. Clock is moving here for the Falcons. They're up by 12. Here's Lazat. Five seconds, four seconds. Goes for a long three and hits it! Nikhil Lazat at the end of the half. Provides just one more exclamation point for the Falcons as they go into recess up by 15. Lazat with eight points off the bench for SPU, and he finishes it off with about a 25-foot three-point attempt that goes in nothing but net like it was no big deal. So a great ending to the half for the Falcons. They go up 42 to 27 at recess time. We'll take about a 12-minute break in our coverage, and then we'll come back for some SPU sports news and some halftime stats as we get ready for the second half of action between the Falcons and the Wildcats.
Well, thanks for hanging out with us on this Thursday doubleheader night. The SPU women won earlier in the evening against Western Oregon, and now the men looking to do the same against Central Washington. And if the SPU men can win this game tonight, they will clinch their spot in the GNAC Conference Tournament. That'll take place in about a week or so from now. Right now the Falcons lead 42-27 over the Central Washington Wildcats in what's been an entertaining game so far. Tom Gilanella here with you. And right now let's take a look at some SPU sports news while we have a moment. The women's basketball team, as I said, they won earlier tonight against Western Oregon, 73-68 in the first game of today's doubleheader. Courtney Hollander led the Falcons with 21 points to match her jersey number. The SPU women remain home to host Concordia on Saturday at 5.15 to open another basketball doubleheader, and that'll also be senior night for the SPU women as well. They have six seniors actively playing right now, so come back on Saturday night to Brome Pavilion and support the SPU women. Congratulations to the SPU women's track and field team that won the conference co-championship at the GNAC meet last weekend. The Falcon men and women are in action on the track oval tomorrow afternoon for the SPU final qualifier. The meet starts at 4.30 in Dempsey Indoor on the University of Washington campus. The SPU gymnastics team competes at home tomorrow night for the first time in nearly a month. The Falcons host Alaska Anchorage and Sacramento State in a triangular meet at 7 o'clock. That's SPU Gymnastics tomorrow at 7 right here in Brome Pavilion. And finally, the SPU men's basketball team is playing its final home game on Saturday night at 7.30 against Northwest Nazarene. Senior, seniors Hunter Eisenhower and E.J. Paulson will be honored with a ceremony prior to tip-off of Saturday's game. So come back to Brome Pavilion on Saturday night for the final SPU basketball home game of the season. We will see you then. And a quick look at some first half stats. As we get ready for half number two, the Falcons ended up shooting 41.2% from the field, 14 of 34. They shot three of 11 from three-point land, including the 25-footer or so that Lazat made at the buzzer for the Falcons. And the SVU shot 11 of 13 from the free throw line. They out-rebounded Central 28 to 15. And by the way, of course, we just mentioned the Falcons 3 of 11 from three-point land in the first half. From two-point land, that would mean they're 11 of 23, so a little bit below 50%, just one shot below 50%, but not bad. The Wildcats, they're 10 of 33, 30.3% from the field, three of 10 from three-point land, four of seven from the free throw line. And the Falcons, as is, they have really controlled this game almost all the way through, even though the Wildcats have had their moments where they've been entertaining. The Falcons have led for 17 minutes, 20 seconds, 86.7% of the time. Wildcats have led for just a minute, 54, 9.5% of the time. Leading score for the Falcons, Gavin Long with 12, Coleman Wooten behind him with nine, and Akil Lazat with eight. For the Wildcats, you have Stepney leading the way with seven points, Shabazz and Montoya behind him with five. 11 seconds to shoot here for the Falcons. They have the ball first in the second half. Ball gets inside, and Cavill can't get the layup to go in for him. And now on the Wildcat end of things, there's Stepney who kicks out. Shabazz comes in, almost slid his foot a little too far, short turnaround, it's gonna run in for him though, and it's a 13 point game. 42-19, 19-11 to play in the second half. Falcons in the white jerseys, if you haven't guessed already. They're going from right to left on your screen in the second half, Wildcats in the black. They go from left to right in the second half as Colosimo Hits it from deep for the Falcons. He's on the scoreboard for the first time in this half and in this game. And it's 45-29. Quan Niles is back in the game for the Wildcats. That could be a, 
a bit of a plus for them. He had to sit out for much of the first half because he instantly got into foul trouble. Niles got two fouls early on as you see Colosimo kick it out to Stroyford and now it's Wooten. Underhand to Colosimo. As it is, Niles, who was the reigning GNAC player of the week last week, did not play a lot of minutes. And now the Wildcats on their end. They lose the ball out of bounds with Montoya. Falcons have it now with 18.08 to play in the second half. Niles, to be exact, by the way, he only played has only played in five minutes of this game. And two of them to start the second half. So he was of little to no impact in half number one as Colosmo leaves that short. And I think we're going to get a foul here perhaps on Cavill as he tried to come in and swat the ball from behind. And that's Cavill's third foul, so he's got to sit. Lazat comes in for him. Cavill with just four points for right now. And Lazat checks in, and now here we go with the inbounds. This is Stephanie coming in, shot top of the key, good. So the Wildcats trying to inch back in the game, 45-33 the score right now. For the Falcons on the floor, you have Wooten, Lazat, Colosimo, Stroyford, and Long. For the Wildcats, you have Shabazz, Montoya, Stepney, Bryant, and Niles. And that kick out goes out of bounds. So the Wildcats take it. Turn over there, charge to Lazat. Inbounds here going to Stepney. As the Wildcats try to get themselves closer to the Falcons. Stepney coming in, mid range. Good. So good start for the Wildcats in this half. Almost a steal on the inbounds by Shabazz, but Falcons have it. They're up 10 as Colosimo, top of the circle, gives it to Wooten. Now it's long. Lazat to his left. Now he gives it to Stroyford. Kicks out. Colosimo, Lazat. No openings here for the Falcons. Lazat will try to create one. Layup is good as he gets one a little bit too high for Niles to reach it. Quan Niles, he leads the GNAC with 2.8 blocks per game, 70 for the season. Couldn't reach that one there though, and Lazada has 10 points to match his jersey number. Falcons by 12. And it's Montoya. And Lazat comes in. Got it to fall. Malik Montoya, he's got seven. And it's 47-37. 16.02 left to play. Colosimo hands it off. Lazat, screen set by Stroyford. Lazat kicks out, open. Colosimo, no good for three. And the rebound gets into the hands of Shabazz. And he gets it back from Montoya who then shoots from the corner and that's not even close and the rebound going to Woot. And that ball's poked out and stolen. And Shabazz blocked by Wooten from behind, no foul. Greg Sparling comes on the court to protest the call. No technical on him. No foul anywhere. Great block by Wooten to take away two points. A clean block apparently by him as the Wildcat fans in the stands groan about that. And Colosimo loses the ball as he tries to kick it out. Stepney goes all the way and flies in with the left hand and scores. Eight point game and Lazat will call for time. 15 minutes to play in the second half. Wildcats inching back into the game, 47-39. And we will return in a moment.
we got a maybe a bowl game on our hands here. The Wildcats started out this half down by 15. Now they're down just eight with five minutes gone in the second half. Cameron Williams in the game for Malik Montoya on the Wildcats side. And here's Stroyford to Wooten with 10. Down to eight, seven, whistle here. Going to get a foul. And it's gonna go on Jerome Bryant, his third. James first of the second half will lead to an under 16 minute timeout. So we stop the action again with 14.43 to play. So timeout, Falcons up. 47-39, back in a moment. Ready to continue on, 14.43 to play in the second half, scores 47-39, Falcons up by eight. Wildcats inching closer. Lazat from the free throw line, no, and the rebound going to Cameron Williams. Back the other way as the Wildcats try to get within six or five. Shabazz. The right, and now he hands it off to Stepney. 14 to shoot. Coming in, going up. No good from the top of the key. Rebound, out of bounds. Last touch off Stroyford. So the Wildcats keep it, and they get a fresh 30 seconds. Inbounds here. Gets into the hands of Woodruff, then gives it to Stepney. Stephanie against Colosimo. Now he gives it to Shabazz. Shabazz over to Woodruff. Hands it off. Shot. Good for Stephanie from basically the top of the key. And we have a six point game. Falcons have got to turn it on a little bit more offensively. They can't just take a knee and run out the clock, especially with this much time left, obviously. And now it's long. Over to Lazat. And it's Long, who goes up, turn around, right hand, no, and the rebound to Niles. Back the other way. Shabazz. Wildcats can now all of a sudden get within four or three. Stepney with it. Bounces, Niles, bumps Stroyford, and he lays it in with the right hand. 6'11", Niles gets it done there. It's the 6'5", Long. And it's 47 to 43. Four point game. Colosimo for three. And boy, do the Falcons need that. Gabe Colosimo hits it from deep. And the Falcons lead by seven. 50 to 43. Colosimo with six. And now here's Stepney. Against Lazat, coming in left hand, going up right hand, no, rebound into the hands of Wooten. Wooten to the front court. Colosimo fakes, comes in. Stroyford underhands to Colosimo. Offensive fouls the call as Williams goes down. That's the first foul on Stroyford and the second of the half on the Falcons as the Wildcats inbound. Stepney 
takes it across the timeline. Falcons up seven. Following the Colosimo three. He's got six points now. Gabe does, and that pass intended for Miles is picked off by Stroyford. Here's Long. Long with it. Long to Stroyford, who comes in against Niles, and he walked. And now we get a timeout on the floor with 11.56 to play in the second half. So an under 12 minute timeout called by the refs. 50 to 43, Falcons by seven. We'll be back in a moment. Eleven fifty-six to play in the second half. Score is fifty to forty-three in favor of the Falcons. Quick substitution recap here: Eisenhower and Cavill in for the Falcons for Wooten and Colosimo for the Wildcats. Ladd and Chaplick in for Shabazz and Stepney. And now they work it left, and then the ball stolen by Cavill. But then Cavill lost the ball out of bounds and it goes right back to the Wildcats. It's a tough break there for the Falcons. Thought they had a turnover, but didn't happen. And now Woodruff inbounds. Goes to Ladd. Ladd with 11 minutes, 27 seconds and counting to play second half. A lot of time for the Wildcats. Here's Chaplick. Passes left. Now right around the screen by Niles, and a block by Stroyford from behind. He denies the Wildcats inside. As Naeem Ladd got rejected. And now it goes to Niles, and he drops the ball, and it also may have gotten poked free, and Long scoops it up for the Falcons. Cavill may have gotten his hand on it. And now here's Lazat. Falcons by seven looking to play. Adelhan, he gets away from Ladd. Can't make the shot. Basically pressed the B button on his Xbox controller and then Ladd went down. But on the other end in transition, Woodruff had a chance at a layup, couldn't make it. And on the follow-up, throwing it straight up in the air was Shabazz didn't make it. Cavill the loose ball rebound. They tug on his jersey from behind, no foul. And then he knocks down a defender. Ladd nonchalantly and no foul there. A frenetic sequence to say the least. And now Cavill goes down, gets back up. 10 to shoot. Wildcat fans not happy and now it's Lazat who shoots, no good. In and out, rebound going to Long. Lazat. Eisenhower. Lazat, touch pass, and going down is Cavill from behind, and it, and now some pushing and shoving, and this is becoming a problem. This game's getting a little bit chippy. You can feel it in the stands, you can feel it on the court. The referees tried to break it up as quick as they could. He 
needless to say, they got to be really careful before anything gets really out of hand. And now there's going to be a technical foul probably issued or two. And they're going to check the monitor to see what happened and who needs a technical foul call on them. I don't think anyone's getting thrown out unless somebody threw a punch. But you could definitely feel the, the game was starting to get a little bit too tense and a little bit too chippy. You could, the fans were not happy in the stands. They were groaning over some non-calls, letting the referees hear it, and then you had bodies flying down all over the place, getting knocked over, and it kind of all culminated with that pushing and shoving in the post that we just saw there between a couple of the players. Obviously, they're going to take a good long look at this as it gets sorted out. Going to be very interesting to see how people kind of digest this. So that was a good job by the referees. At least they did the best that they could to kind of break that up before it got really bad. And they're still looking at the monitor to see now one of them, one of the referees walks away. Another will go to the monitor. So this could still take a while to really sort out here. Again, remember the winner of this game will clinch a spot into the GNAC tournament. And of course, for both of these teams, if they win one of their next two games, they'll be in the conference tournament. Falcons after this game have Northwest Nazarene. That's all that's left on their regular season schedule in the GNAC. That will be on Saturday night at 7.30 here in Brome. As they continue to look at this on the monitor. If it's taking this long, you wonder if they're debating whether or not somebody needs to be thrown out of this game. Now the referees go to the scores table. One of them has a yellow piece of paper in his hands. I don't think that's like a yellow card in soccer, though. I think that's just... They're going to write some things down, and it just happened to be yellow. The piece of paper, I mean. Now, three referees. Aaron Starkovich, Jeff Flowers, Jerry Minis talking things over at center court. 9.58 left, second half. Falcons have been outscored in this half, 16-8. Shooting percentage is just about back to even between the two teams. Falcons shooting just 37.8% from the field, 17 of 45. Wildcats 18 of 49, 36.7%. Now Ryan Looney and Greg Sparling will talk things over. I wonder too if this long delay could really help calm down the game a little bit as, as kind of an unintended consequence. Unintended intended consequence, I guess, for a lack of a better term. Certainly the stands have calmed down. The teams have calmed down. Coaches seem very calm right now. Referees are very calm. Of course, that wasn't necessarily the purpose of this delay. The purpose of the delay was to look at the monitor. 
and take a look at things. But calming the game down a little bit, calming the atmosphere in the gym down, I think that's probably is a good consequence of this if, if that's what it comes to. Still waiting on what the announcement is going to be, if there is any. Right now we have 19 seconds showing on the shot clock for the Falcons. And now they're going to probably get ready to make an announcement here. Looks like you've got Long being charged with a foul. You've got Niles being charged with a foul. You've got Ladd being charged with a foul. At least that's what's flashed on the scoreboard here. Now let's see. There were three technical fouls called on the last play. There's a foul against Central Washington's Naeem Ladd, a technical. Technical on the Wildcats, Kupon Niles. And technical against the Falcons, Gavin Long. So two technicals on the Wildcats and one on the Falcons. And the two fouls on the Wildcats means that the Falcons get the two free throws and Lazat is able to make it. Now I guess the Wildcats get two free throws. So I'm guessing the Falcons get two more free throws when we're done with this process. I would think so. They're going to do two free throws for every technical. Ladd hits his shot, hits another shot. The technical's going on long on the Falcons, and then Niles and Ladd on the Wildcat side. And the free throw up and good here for Lazat, 53-45. Second free throw is good. So everybody made all their free throws. Falcons made four free throws. Wildcats made two. Wildcats lose and two points as a net of that. And because there were more technicals against the Wildcats than there were the Falcons, the Falcons get the ball back. Hopefully you all took notes because you're all going to be tested on this later on. Here's Lazat to Long. Lazat coming in with 16 to shoot. No good. Tap in. No. Long. No. And I think that might have gotten swatted away. Didn't see by who. Williams gets the loose ball for the Wildcats, though. And going up and missing there was Ladd, but he got fouled on the way up. 54 45 is the score. Falcons by nine. Foul here going on Lazat, and that's his first. Team's fourth. Ladd shoots at the line, and he makes the first. The and now it will be Colosimo who checks in for Lazat. So Lazat sits. Just one foul on him right now. Colosimo is two. Second free throw up and good for Ladd. And it's 54-47. So back to a seven point game. And Eisenhower for three. Good, he made it from deep. The assist from Cavill. And the Falcons are up by 10, back up by double digits. Still 9-13 left, a lot of time. Ladd. Ladd against Colosimo comes in, shot, no. Off target, rebound tip to Colosimo. Colosimo back the other way. Right now the count, by the way, four team fouls on the Falcons in this half, three on the Wildcats. And Long gets back to the top. Now it's going to be Eisenhower. Eisenhower comes into his left, bounces to Stroyford. Stroyford with eight. Now it's Eisenhower to Cavill to Colosimo. Right hand, and no basket, he walked. Stepney will come in now for the Wildcats. Shaplick checks in, or checks out of the game, I should say. Stepney comes back in. 
By the way, the, the three players that got teed up, Ladd, Niles, and Long, none of them got thrown out. Just one technical foul each was charged to them. Just so everybody knows. So Niles bobbles the ball, fumbles it inside, and then it's scooped up by C Cavill there. And then he handed it immediately to Colosimo. Now Colosimo to Stroyford, and now a three-point attempt. It's good. Eisenhower hits it again. Eisenhower has nine. He's got three three-pointers in this game. And the Falcons are up by 13, and now that lead looking a little bit more comfy. Woodruff coming into his left, and Long tried to poke it out. He couldn't do it. And he got called for the foul instead. And Long is called for the foul, his fourth. That could be a little bit of a loss for the Falcons if he has to sit because of foul trouble. Long has, four, has 12 points right now, just behind Lazat's total with 14. Three rebounds as well. And a timeout on the floor with less than eight minutes to play in the ball game. Score right now, Falcons 60, Wildcats 47, SPU by 13, more to come in a moment. Seven minutes, 53 to play. Falcons up by 13. Wildcats trying to scratch and claw and climb their way back in the game. Woodruff heading left. Turn around, fade away. No, it's short against Wooten and the rebound to Cavill. Back the other way. Falcons trying to increase their lead even more. And now Wooten over to Eisenhower, and he did it again! Another three ball for Eisenhower. His fourth of the night. He's got 12 points overall. Williams from the paint. No, tap in, good for Niles. That makes it a 14 point game. Timeout called here. Timeout called by the Falcons. 30 second timeout for them. They have, or no, timeout Wildcats. I'm sorry, timeout Wildcats. Falcons have two timeouts left. The Wildcats have two timeouts left. 14 point game, 7.16 to go, and we'll be right back. Ready to continue on here. Falcons get the inbounds pass as Wooten hands it off to Colosimo. And Colosimo going to the right around the baseline, goes up high and in as he gets it away from Niles. And it's eight for Colosimo, 65 for the Falcons, and they lead by 16. And in the paint, Stephanie drops it home and the foul with the right hand. So that gets the Wildcats back to within 14. This team's still plenty good enough to make a run here in the last seven minutes. Foul going on Stroyford is second, team sixth. Stepney makes the free throw, 13 point game, 65-52. And an inbounds here. Bryant being tangled with Colosimo a little bit, but Colosimo gets the inbounds. Stepney with 18 points now after that three point play. Cavill. To Wooten, and he passes it right off Niles, but the Falcons get it back somehow. 
And that pass gets tipped. Stroyford's pass from the corner gets tipped and then stolen away. And Williams air balls it on the other end and then they can't save it. Eisenhower gets the steal for the Falcons. Back the other way. So here comes Colosimo. Colosimo almost fumbles the ball, gets it back. Eisenhower another three, no, it's short this time. Out of bounds, last touch off the Falcons. Cavill frustrated that he couldn't come up with that ball. 6.07 to play, Falcons up 13. The way Eisenhower's been going in this game from three point line, you'd think that he would make another one there. Stepney, going to his right, kicks it out, nice play, and Shabazz hits it from three point land. So that makes it a 10 point game. Shabazz has 10 points, 5.50 to go. And now they stop play for just a moment here, and now the Falcons inbound. Wooten's got to get it in five seconds or less, goes to Cavill, and now Colosimo. So this isn't over yet by any means. And now Cavill, right side. Cavill, screen set by Wooten. Stroyford, Eisenhower, and an open look for three, D comes in instead, and he gets the basket and the foul. Hunter Eisenhower puts it in. He's got a chance to get a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Four fouls on the Wildcats in this half. Third overall on Williams. And he'll check out of the game. Montoya checks back in. And now Eisenhower to the line. He shoots one. Eisenhower hits the free throw. What a night for Hunter Eisenhower this is turning out to be. Five three-point plays for him. Four from deep. One the old-fashioned way. Three-point attempt here. In and out for Shabazz. And now scooping up the loose balls. Montoya gets knocked down. And that's where the foul will be called. That's number seven on the Falcons. It's been a physical game. It's been a chippy game at times. Almost had a fight a couple minutes ago at least. Get a foul here, though, on Stroyford, and that's his third. With 5.18 to go. Let's we'll see if Grant Leap wants to take Stroyford out of the game because of foul trouble. Only 5.18 left, though. Stroyford has just three fouls. Free throw up and good here in the one and one situation for Montoya. 6'2 junior from Federal Way, transfer from Seattle U and the Red Hawks. Second shot on the way for Montoya, up and good. 68-57, five minutes, 18 to play. 11-point game, whistle here. Everything stops. Why did everything stop? Guess the Falcons are going to inbound. One of the referees had something to say to a fan in the SPU section. I don't know what happened there, though. No technical fouls or anything like that were called. A little odd. But at any rate, Colosimo, left side. Beats the double team with a pass to Stroyford. Gets away from the defender, Niles. And he gets the two-hand slam to put the Falcons up by 13. With 4.55 left to play. Shabazz with the ball. The Stepney passes left side. And this is Montoya. They go inside to Bryant. Shot for Niles, good. That was kind of a Sam Perkins big smooth-like stroke there for Niles. Didn't use the lower body as much. He just kind of shot it with his upper body and put it in. Got, he's got six. And Cavill from the paint rims it in. As he comes into his left and scores, he's got six, and that puts the Falcons back up 13. 72-59, 4-10 left. Stepney coming in left hand, going up. Counted in the foul. And that gets him within 11 with a chance to get within 10. Stepney has 20. Wildcats still with a hope and a prayer here. As the foul goes on, Stroyford is fourth, so Trey Miller will come in for him. 
So Grant Leap gets him out of there, and they'll save Stroyford for when they feel like they really need him. Trey Miller in for now, though. Miller in this game for the Falcons. He's played just five minutes. He started the game, scored no points. Miller has two fouls to his name, so he left the first half early on because of foul trouble. Really hasn't played since then, as you see Stephanie make the free throw there. That gets the Wildcats within 10. Colosimo with 16. Over to Cavill, hands it back to Colosimo. Gabe with 10, now, now down to nine, eight and seven. Miller inside, try to go to Cavill, and it's an offensive foul. Offensive foul on the Falcons, that's eight on them. Won't be a bonus situation here though because it was an offensive foul. Actually check that, it's the ninth on the Falcons. Falcons have nine, Wildcats have four. And it goes on Trey Miller and that's his third. So Trey Miller starting to creep into foul trouble a little bit. Timeout on the floor with three minutes, 40 seconds to play. Falcons up by 10, 72-62. Still a little bit of an outside chance though that Central Washington could climb back in this game with one last surge. And we'll come back, see if the Falcons can hang on in just a moment. Well, here we go with three minutes, 40 seconds to play in the second half following the foul on the Falcons on the offensive end. Inbounds coming up here. Bryant to Stephanie. Gavin Long comes back in the game with his four fouls and his 12 points. Turnaround shot, Stephanie hits from the paint. He's got 23. One of six seniors listed on the Central Washington roster with 23 points. And he gets the Wildcats within eight. Still some time for them. Colosimo. And he lost the ball, but got to Wooten. Wooten near the timeline, comes in, throws it up, got it in the foul. Coleman, Coleman Wooten somehow puts it in. And Greg Sparling can't believe the call. Coleman Wooten hits the bucket. Foul is on Fuquan Niles, his fourth. Sparling thought Niles just had established defensive positioning there, but I guess not. And Wooten can't get the free throw to fall. Still a 10 point game. Stepney, senior from Kent Ridge. And the Kent Ridge Charger drives to the right. Against Cavill, to Bryant, hands it back, Stephanie for three, good! Three Stephanie three hits, three he's got 26, and the Wildcats won't go away. Two minutes, 48 to go, and it's a seven point affair. 74-67, the Falcons have to somehow, some way, figure out a way to get the ball out of Stephanie's hands. He's got 26 points right now, for the Wildcats on 11 of 17 shooting. That was his first three point attempt on the night. And the Falcons are somehow, some way, gonna have to figure out a way to hold this rally off. Back in for Central three, Sage Woodruff. Sage Woodruff and Cameron Williams checking in for Bryant and Shabazz on the Central Washington side. Now here is Cavill. Miller hands off Colosimo. Coming into his left. Cavill kicks out long. 
Long to Miller. Goes up near the top of the key. Good! A big shot for Trey Miller. The ex Inglemore Viking coming through there. And it's 76 67. Coming in, Stepney. They can't poke it out of there. Missed the shot. Wooten has it poked free. Long saves it. It's tipped. What's the call? They're going to say out of bounds off the Falcons. Or no, out of bounds off the Wildcats. Excuse me. Stroyford checks in now for Miller. After Miller hits that big shot for the Falcons. So a little bit of foul trouble on the floor right now for the Falcons. Stroyford has four fouls. Long has four. 20 points combined among the both of them. Of course, you only have two minutes, seven left. Colosimo. As we hit the two-minute mark, Colosimo heading to his left with 13. Down to 10. Down to 8. Colosimo, open look for Stroyford. Got it to go in from the right corner. That puts the Falcons up 12 with a minute 45 to go. A big shot for Stroyford. He's got 11. The assist to Colosimo. And now Shabazz checks in for the Wildcats for Williams. And now the Wildcats in a bit of a hole. Down by 12. After being down just seven a moment ago. Here's a three point attempt. Short for Woodruff, rebound going to Wooten. Wildcats have not led once in the second half. And now we're going to get a foul, it looks like, on the Wildcats. On Stepney, his first. Wildcats, that's their last foul to give before any bonuses come into effect. Wooten checks out of the game. Lazat checks in with a minute 30 to go. Here's Colosimo. Falcons in this game, they have led for 35 minutes, 51 seconds and counting. Wildcats have led for just a minute 54 and never in the second half. Only 4.9% is the amount of game that the Wildcats have led for. Falcons have led for 93.1% of this game and counting. As we get a foul here on Shabazz, his second, team seventh. Now the Falcons just about in victory lane. Wildcats almost out of time. First free throw short for Lazat. Now in transition, Montoya goes in and scores with the right hand. Ten point game. Still a pulse for the Wildcats. Cavill destroy for three on one here. Lazat fouled. And that shot won't count, but it was fun to watch. Fouls on Fuquan Niles. That's his fifth. He's gone. Ends up with six points. The Wildcats lose some size up front there with that foul out, but you would think here that with 56.8 seconds to play, down 10, Wildcats have to shoot some three-pointers and they have to hope beyond hope that they can get lucky here. 15 points for Lazad after he makes that first free throw. Misses the second. Now the Wildcats have to move. They got to shoot some threes and they got to make some threes. They have any kind of prayer. This is a two for Stepney. It's short. Rebound to Cavill as he tucks it in. Almost lost control of the ball, but here's Long. And a whistle here as they try to poke it free. Fouls on Shabazz with 42.5 remaining. Third foul on Shabazz. And now Gavin Long will go to the line. And now for a one-and-one -one situation. Nine fouls now on each team, and now Wooten checks in for Nikhil Lazat. Free throw time. First shot for Long, up and good as the Falcons continue to salt this game away. Falcons are going to end up getting to the GNAC Conference Tournament with this win. Wildcats still more work to do it would appear. Shot no good, rebound to Wooten after the miss by Montoya. 
for the Wildcats. They have one regular season game left, and that's at St. Martin's, and they may very well have to win that in order to get themselves into the GNAC Conference Tournament. But we know the Falcons will be in there. They needed to win one of their last two games, and that is precisely what they've done. They are now 7-4 and four here at home. 16 and 10 overall, there's a steal. Three on one, and now run the clock out. Falcons now 16 and 10 overall, 11 and eight in the GNAC. They sweep the Wildcats. They go to the GNAC Conference Tournament. This game definitely did not lack for entertainment. It was fast, it was physical, it got chippy at times. And the Falcons end up winning by 13, 82 to 69 over the Wildcats. Falcons have one regular season game left. It'll be against the Northwest Nazarene Nighthawks. And we will look forward to that coming up on Saturday, February the 24th, 7.30 p.m. here in Brome Pavilion. Falcons win it, 82 to 69 over the Wildcats. And until next time, this is Tom Gilanella saying good night here from Royal Brome Pavilion in Seattle.